On your appointments calendar, click the Create button or select a time slot. A screen will open, giving you the option to create a new appointment, class, or personal event. Simply select Class from the Event Type dropdown. We'll begin by entering the class name. Let's say you want to create a yoga class. Select a category so that you can group different classes together for reporting purposes, then add a description. Next, let's confirm the date and time. You'll also have the option to set this class as a recurring event. Let's try to make this a weekly class that ends three months from now. Now, we can select the staff member who will be providing the class. Finally, set a number of spots and a price for this class. Let's take a quick review and then hit save. You'll see your newly created class in your appointments calendar. Now that you've created a class, let's see how you can modify or cancel it. First, click on a class on the calendar, then select the edit action from the header. Let's say you want to update the description of the class to remind your clients to bring a towel. After editing the description, simply hit save and confirm your changes. If something comes up and you need to cancel the class, select cancel class from the header and confirm your action. Since you already have some attendees who paid for this class, they will automatically get a refund and a notification as a result of canceling the class. You should see the class is grayed out on the calendar, and this class will no longer be shown to your clients in the booking flow. You should see an Add Attendee button at the top. Clicking the Add Attendee button will allow you to search for a client. Next, select a client from the dropdown. You can confirm their information and then click Add to Class. Now you'll have the option to charge the attendee immediately using different payment method options. However, let's say you don't want to take a payment right now. You can simply close the checkout flow. You'll see that a new attendee has been added, but you know that they haven't paid yet. You can always take payment later by clicking on Take Payment. You'll see the same checkout flow as before. From here, just enter a credit card or use our card reader to take payment.